Hello! In this video of the ADLM 2000 series, we'll show you what you need to do in order to use the module with Scopy on your computer running on Linux. In the video description, you'll find a section labeled Commands, where all terminal commands used in this video are provided. The process is made up of two parts, installing Libio, our library for interfacing Linux industrial input-output devices, and installing Scopy, the software application. Let's get started and plug our device into the computer. Make sure you connect the cable to the connector in the middle, which has a USB symbol as a label. Open the M2K as an external mass storage device and click on the info.html file. Download the correct Libio package for your Linux distribution and scopy.flatpak. Open a terminal window and go to your downloads directory and install the Libio package. To do so, you must run the install command and specify your package. To test your installation, run iio underscore info minus a in a terminal window. The output should contain our ADLM2000 module. Now, let's move on to installing Scopy. In order for the Scopy installation to be successful, you must install a specific version of Flatpak. Remember, all the commands needed are in the video description. Open a terminal window and add the repository from where we'll download Flatpak. After that, we'll run the update command and then we'll install Flatpak itself. Now we are ready to install Scopy by typing the following command. After the installation is complete, make sure you restart your computer. To launch the application, you have two options. You can either run the command shown on the screen in your terminal or simply search for the application in your applications list. Either way, Scopy will open and if your ADLM2000 is still plugged into your computer, the device will appear in the home screen. Select it by clicking it. Now, the home screen should contain information about your device, such as the serial number or the firmware version. Clicking the connect button will establish a connection between the ADLM2000 and your computer. Notice how the text on the button changes to calibrating for a little while. We'll cover this calibration process of the M2K in the next video of this series. Congratulations! Your setup is now fully functional. Now, depending on the experiments you wish to conduct, make the correct connections between the ADLM2000 pins and use the appropriate instrument. The following videos will handle each instrument separately. In addition, we'll provide information on more advanced settings for both Scopy and the ADLM2000. For more resources and information on the ADLM2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. Here you can find detailed guides on how to get started, hardware schematics, pinout diagrams, tutorials for each instrument, and lastly, practical activities and lab exercises to be done with the module. If you have questions that this video did not answer to, please feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the Virtual Classroom section. You'll find links to all kinds of helpful pages in the video description. Thank you for watching.